Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build my abandoned ship and battle stations siren alarm flashing light thing. So first of all you want to make a 3 by one by one column right here, or row right here. And on the left you want to have a switch and on the right you want a button. Uh, depending on how you build it, you can either have two switches or two buttons, but I'm doing it this way. Um, the pressure plates and the signs are just here to let me know what each one will be doing. So, I built the floor also to let me know not to go above that. So, in the back, you want to go down underneath the lever on the button put redstone and we're going to do the abandoned ship siren first so come down one up or no down two up one put redstone there come back to and put a block Put a repeater there and put a piston on that block and put a block on the piston. This creates a short pulser. It's not like the best design, but it's my favorite. Okay, and you can pretty much put your um, light anywhere you want, but for sake of time we're going to put it on the other side of this hallway here so you want to put in your wall and we're going to put it um, third block up and that's the abandoned ship light and that will be the um, other light so I'm just going to label them now So, this is battle stations, abandon ship. Alright. And the only problem with this thing is you have to make the walls three meters wide. Because each block is a meter. And put another block here. If you're in a cave though, this won't matter. Uh, I gotta get it like that. It's not perfect, it's uh, yeah. So you're gonna come out to and it could be one if you feel like it right now. Yeah, well maybe. Um let's see. Uh forgetting how I did this. Um Put a block here, put a block there. Now, when you put your torch here, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, let me pause this. So I looked back at my original design, and what you want to do is on the block with the sign, you're going to put a block behind that and redstone dust on top of that. I'm going to go down two blocks. Put another t um, a block with a torch. Go down another two blocks. Put a block with a torch. And see, now it's on, but we don't have our system on, and this is what the default would be. So we want to invert that again. So redstone dust or whatever you want to put there block torch there that's what we want and you can um, actually cause this design is so simply awesome we're just gonna put a redstone dust there so now we flick the switch and guess what? Nothing happens. We're going to slow down our repeater here a little bit. 
Now we'll see what happens. Absolutely nothing. There we go. Now our light's flashing. Okay. So we won't turn that off. So we got our flashing light, but what we don't have is the sound. So we're going to take two note blocks and I'm going to turn particle, particle effects on so you guys can see this. Okay. And put one right here. And you want to put these on a note to where you can hear it better. Um, uh, more of a, a higher pitched note than a low pitched note because I think they mean more urgently, kind of. So, kind of on blue. Um, blue and light blue is the area you want to be. So now, when we play it, can you kind of hear that? I don't know if you guys can yet. So, now that we got one side done, let's do the other. And the back will be the same with this one, so just put a block here, a block here, a block here, a block here. And put your torches down. And yes, we're missing that other one. There we go. Now this one uses a slightly different design. What you want to do is you want to put a dispenser here. And in this dispenser you're going to put 64 or more of any item. I'm just doing 64 right now for the tutorial. And I'm using um, saplings. Then you want to kind of make a small box so you know your item will always fall in the right spot every time and put a wooden pressure plate on that. This will turn the um, pulse on, or not pulse, but the light on for five minutes until the item despawns. That way you don't have to flick a switch and be like, okay, everyone's either better slip stations flick it off. This way you're like, oh no, we're under attack. You hit the button and then you go off to your own battle station. It's a lot simpler and everyone on the ship can be like, oh hey. And yeah, it's a lot simpler. So this one leads directly to this light. So there. And when you press the button, the light comes on. And you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But wait a minute, how do you get the siren? Well, we gotta pretty much do what we did on the other one. I'm gonna put this back in that dispenser. Um, basically, this is gonna be on, so hey, why not just use that? So, put your block um, going to pull it out a little bit so I can elevate it you know that way I'm not going below where all the blocks are right now and it's gonna do that two blocks there here 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 let's go roller coaster of redstone okay put a repeater there block here um, need another piston there we go. Put that there. Under block. Now that's complete. Couldn't take this. And we're just going to use um, one note block for this one. And you don't want to put this one as loud. So let's just put it on. Let's put it. Um, from purplish pink starting into blue. Uh, that's good enough. 
So now, when um, we turn this one on, oh, turn that down. That stays on, but you can hear this going off. And I'm not sure if I have my sound up all the way. Well, I guess it is, but... Yeah, it's a nice system. Not that compact, but it gets the job done. And for my airship, this will be running all the way through it, so all of the walls will have to be three thick uh, uh, if I'm doing this. Although I'm thinking of a new design. Um, let's see, so this is the wall. You have fences. Oh, they're not there. They're here. Um, right here. Ah. And wherever you have your redstone on the other wall, you're gonna put a block. In this way, you can have your redstone going behind here put your block above this and it looks a lot cooler and people might not know you're hiding redstone so yeah if you want to run that through your base you can well that's about it for this tutorial um yeah uh see you all later keep minecrafting